Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. I'm pretty excited today. We're going to be working on some office decor slash room decor or even as a home decor if you want to. So the first thing that we're going to be using is this good old cork board that I had for like five years. That's why it looks kind of like gross and sad. But I thought of giving it a new life. As these things work is they have kind of like two hangers or two parts where you kind of hang it on the wall. So I'm just going to pretty much remove one of them. The one that is like used and doesn't really hold anything. One is like super old, but the other one is like hanging in there still. So I'm just going to use that one to hang it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the whole thing to see where is the middle part. So I can nail this thing as in the middle as you can. For the next step, I'm just going to be covering my table with some plastic bag. To paint it, I'm just going to be using this uh, good old painter's tape and I'm just going to protect the cork part because I still want it to be that color. If you want the whole thing to be black, just go ahead and, you know, ignore this step and just paint the whole thing. But I just wanted to have my frame painted in black. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just protecting the area. So I can go then with my brush and my acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint pretty much the whole thing. I'm using black acrylic paint, but you can, you know, use any color that you want. Don't forget to paint the inside, like the edges on the inside as well. And this is why placing the painter's tape comes on handy. Once everything is dry, I'm just going to remove my painter's tape so I can move on to the next step. I'm just going to be choosing a polka dot pattern in white. I'm using for that wet acrylic paint and my big dotting tool. You don't need to use a dotting tool for this. You can use the back part of a brush as well. But I'm using this uh, dotting tool because that's the one I have. So guys, this is what we have so far. As you can see, it kind of like changed a lot, but I'm not going to stop right there. I'm just going to add something else because I want to hang a lot of photos and a lot of things. And for that, I'm going to be using twine. I'm going to be using four twines throughout my board. So I'm just going to mark four spots where I could, you know, easily place my twine. I'm just going to move on and work with my twine. I'm just going to measure how much like twine I need from left to right and I'm just going to cut four pieces of that twine. Just remember to cut more than what you think you actually need because it's easier to just cut the leftovers if you have any than to just add more. So just to hang my twine I'm just going to be placing some of my painter's tape on each edges of my twine. I'm just going to be using two pieces of tape per twine. So in total, I'm just going to be using eight pieces of tape. This step is pretty much optional, but I find that twine is pretty messy. So I just, I'm just going to cut those bits that annoy me when I'm using twine. And I think it looks kind of more neat. So then I'm just going to be painting my twines and my tape in black. And for that, I decided to do this in this way because it was easier just adding a really big piece of tape on both edges of my four twines like that if that makes any sense and I'm just going to paint them with my brown sponge and this is pretty much how my four black twine things look like at the moment and but it's time to just place them in there. I'm going to go with my pin to the edge like this and once my pin is in there I'm just going to go ahead and pin it on my cork with a bit of an angle push it so it would stay in there. The same goes for the other edge of the other side of this like twine thing and I'm just going to repeat the same process in the rest of the three left twines that I have in there. Now maybe you can find an easier way than what I did here, maybe can, you can use a stapler machine if you have one. To hang the stuff that I want to hang, I'm just going to be using some clothes pins, well a bunch of them, and I'm just going to be painting them with some acrylic paint. You can go ahead and paint them in whatever color you want. This one for instance is green. I made a bunch of them, I just had a lot of fun, but I'm probably going to be doing another video showing you how I painted all those things. They're super easy and they're so much fun to make or to paint. You can have like Instagram printed photos, Pinterest ideas that you want to try or images that you find pretty cool or just something really Tumblr, inspirational quotes, to-do lists, calendars. I hope you liked it. If you have one of these work boards that you don't really know what to do with them because that was me like five years ago. For some reason, I just kept it and now I'm 
glad I did it because this thing looks pretty cute on my room. So I just wanted to share this. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more stuff. Share this one so more people can see it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!